to become an MLS team? How long do we have? Do we have like a couple hours, three hours, five hours? The drive to bring the Sac Republic into the MLS has been a great community unifier. You know, the journey started, um, like many things, just with, with an idea. Uh, and this started back in, I think all the way back in 2012. Um, as the story goes, Joe Wagner, Sean Morrison, uh, Jeremy Field, a few others, you know, were literally talking in their backyard about this idea of, of soccer. And that idea, you know, got to paper and got to investors, you know, who, who wanted to fund this and also believed in the idea. And community leaders, right, people that worked at City Hall or um, the mayor, the city council, others, which are all, all important, and most importantly, the fans, right? And talking to fans um, just out there, whether they're playing soccer or watching their kids play soccer on a Saturday or, or watching a, a game on TV. And anytime there's a big business transaction like that, it's very complicated. And at some point, they hit some roadblocks. So I came in over the course of two days and, got, and mediated back and forth between them to um, actually keep the deal together. And after the team launched, you know, through focus groups and everything else, finally the team had its first game in 2014, right? That was the big coming out party. And guess what? The next game happened and 21,000 people showed up again. And the next game happened and the next game happened. And everyone started to realize like how, not just how amazing this was, but just how meaningful it was in Sacramento. It's a place that is inclusive, it's a place that is welcoming, it is a place that is friendly, and it's a place that's becoming increasingly dynamic. I, I do think, you know, early on there was this vision for MLS. I think everyone needed to see this play out, right? To, to take an idea from our heads to writing down on a piece of paper. And until you start to bring um, those things together and then people get to see, and that first, that's why that first game was so important to be successful. You play that out over, that was the 2014 season, and do you want to know how that season ended? It ended how, how you hope all your sports teams end their season, which is winning a championship. And then 2015 and 2016, and now we're, we're about to embark on our seventh season, and it's amazing to see what's happened. And through all of that, there was this idea of, like, hey, can we join the very, very top league in, in North America and the United States, which is Major League Soccer. I think fans are always the most important aspect of every sports team, right? Like that's it's not a cliche, that's what it's all for. Um, you know, we could play, we can have a great team, but if fans aren't there to celebrate it, to cheer loudly, to come together, then, then what are we doing anyway? As we talked about, the name Sacramento Republic FC came from the fans. Uh, in October of 2019, we were able to make the big announcement that the deal was done and now it's time to start building the stadium and to look forward to 2022 when we launch Major League Soccer in Sacramento. In the end, the city is going to contribute about $30 million worth of infrastructure for, you know, the, the roads and, and the pipes and the sewers and all of that for the uh, adjoining development which we would want to do anyways because we want to see more development there. But that helps the, the, our private investors. But they're contributing the lion's share. I mean, they're in for $200 million in terms of, uh, of a franchise fee and then about $300 million or so to build the stadium. So in terms of uh, it's largely a private investment, but the city uh, is helping with the infrastructure. We're also providing the, the, them some of the revenue from the signs that'll go up instead of us having the revenue. And um, that's the way it should be. And, uh, and yet we're partners. And again, I helped uh, in many ways along the way, both seen and unseen. Uh, so a true team effort in every way. Um, and, you know, it's a rare, opportunity to get to to get to build a sports franchise in the city in your hometown right which is what's for me and, and others it's such a growing and dynamic place and soccer is a great example of it I mean 10 years ago 15 years ago we never would have been in line for such an opportunity or um, but what had happened was people had understood this amazing movement in the community to, to bring us together around the sport that everybody plays, regardless of your color, your background, what your parents do. It's something that kind of unified us all. You know, 
What I love about soccer is that it does require a lot of skill, but it is also available for, um, for young people of varying skills. You don't have to be great. You just have to want to run around and be part of a team and learn the technique and kick the ball. It is really hard for me, and I think for a lot of us, to put in perspective what this means in, for Sacramento and for you know, our city and our region that we love. When you drive, or when you're in your self-driving car in 10 years, um, and you you know drive by this downtown that now has a soccer stadium and a new hospital and this amazing development and this downtown that's vibrant that brings people together, like I said, um, I didn't have that growing up in in Sacramento, um, but you will, and you know regardless of what you do or you move out from the city and, and hopefully you always have a tie to it and maybe come back and, and uh, you know I hope that we have more smart driven people doing more for the city and taking it because it doesn't stop there right it's like well what else can we do how can we make this even bigger how can we make Sacramento uh, stand out for its amazing food and agriculture and sustainability and beautiful trees and again diversity that comes together like there's so many things that we can celebrate here but each of those takes big ideas and big people, right? And driven people willing to do that. Yes. I mean, that's just the, the storybook ending.